Hi everyone, it's Monday. Welcome to the vlog. I'm only going to have this one go until Friday, so it'll probably be a shorter one, and then I'll be back on schedule. Hello, hello. My dogs are like freaking out like they're acting super super needy i'm not even allowed to like be two feet away from them before they start crying and move towards me that's what happens when you leave for like a week hmm? i mean watson's doing the same thing watson's doing the same thing too hmm? but um so i finished editing the vlog i ended up being going to work i'm just exhausted yesterday if it hadn't have been as like crazy and flights delaying and everything. I would have been fine, but I was just exhausted. I needed to sleep in. So, um, and get myself back organized. So, um, yeah, so I've just been, oh, I don't even know what I've been doing today. Um, I have to go get food because I have like no food in my fridge at all. Um, so yeah, I'm hanging out with the dogs and I think I'm going to try and finish the Outlander audiobook today. I think I can do that and maybe get a couple more chapters in on Mistress of Rome and decide if I want to keep going because like I said, I wasn't totally like into it. Nothing really seems to be happening and I don't really seem to care about any of the characters that are there. So I'm going to see if it's worth it, um, me keeping going and then I don't think, I'm just exhausted. I don't think I'll get to touch the Queens of the Indusir arc again today. I think I'll put that for tomorrow. And yeah, that's that's been my Monday so far. Hey everyone, it is Monday afternoon, or no, Monday evening. I <clears throat> actually had a really good day and I'm feeling a million times better right now than I was last night. Like total 20 or 365 turnaround or 180 degree turnaround. I don't know, the opposite. So yeah. But um, I managed to actually finish Outlander today. I honestly just forgot how big, like, I know you look at it and you're like, oh, it's big. But then you're like, you look at the audiobook and you're like, oh my god, 36 hours? And then just having to split it up as much as I did just took forever. But I finished that. Um, and then today I went and returned the books that I had from the library. And then as soon as I got home from the library, I got an email saying, hey, there's books at the library for you to pick up. And I was like, oh, I'll go back later. Um... Because the roads here are a nightmare. We got, like, all that snow, and, like, our city doesn't clean the snow as fast as they should. So it's, like, it just, like, potholes and, but like, the entire road everywhere. The main highways and everything. It's just a nightmare. So I'm not going back out there unless I have to. Um, and I got lots of editing done today and filming and hanging out with the dogs. And you might be able to notice, too, I changed up a little bit of my bookshelves. Um, I moved them slightly farther down the wall, and then I got rid of, like, the TBR shelf, and I put that where my empty TV stand was, because it's just literally sitting there empty, so I might as well use it for something. And this way I have, like, an extra shelf or so on my cases. But I've got, like, a gap here now, so I think the next time I'm in Edmonton, I'm going to try and pick up um, some more Billy bookcases from um, Ikea and put a small one, like a half-size one here, and then um, get another big one and another half-size one from my other side of my kitchen, where my other bookcase is. And hopefully, hopefully I'll have enough space until then. Um, but yeah, so that was my, that's my plan. Um, I, you know, I've got dinner right now and I may, depending on how tired I am um, before bed, I might read a couple more chapters of The Queens of Innisleer maybe try and get even if it's just a page 50 because I'm almost at page 50 and then go from there and um, I'm going to try and pull my books together and decide what books I want to try and get through this week um, I'm not even going to touch my arc pile until this weekend I'll film my haul video this weekend for it too and just deal with it then because I have stuff on NetGalley that I just really need to get to and yeah so I think I think that is the end of my Monday and yeah. Hey everyone, it's Monday evening. I just got back from work. I worked um, on a couple chapters of um, Mistress of Rome this morning. Well, a couple chapters. I woke up late, so like one chapter, but I'm going to keep working on that today. But I got to work today, and I mean, work-wise, it was a chaotic day because I've been gone for like a week, but my coworker is like the most wonderful human being. I went back to my desk, and look what was there. And oh my god, the beast, I did not realize how big this book is. It's like se like two or three pages short of 700. Did not realize it was that big, but I'm like literally in the middle of reading the preview excerpt right now on ebook format, so I'm going to keep, I think, no, 
I'll probably just switch over to this by now. I, I really prefer physical books over ebooks. So I'm going to switch over to this, and oh my good God, I just hope to try and get it read within the next week or so. Um, it's a beast. So, yeah, I think I'm going to work on Mistress of Innisleer, and then I'm going to try and get a couple more chapters in On Queens of... Um, no, I'm going to read, listen to some of the audiobook for Mistress of Rome while I'm cooking dinner and everything, and then before bed I'm going to try and read um, a couple chapters of The Queens of Innisleer. I think that, yeah, that makes sense. All those were actual titles. Um, but yeah, so, and I think I've got to start figuring out where I'm going to put my, like, bookshelves of arcs, it seems like. But, um, yeah, that's my day so far. Hey, everyone. I've had, like, a super productive, like, last 24 hours. It is Wednesday, I think. Yeah, missing Monday kind of totally messed me up. Um, I think today is Wednesday. It's the day after the last time I vlogged. Um, so yesterday I actually ended up DNFing uh, Mistress of Rome. It's not the worst book I've ever read, but it's just definitely, like, what? I've just, like, read a lot of books set in Rome recently and have some on my TBR to read that I know I would enjoy more than those, so... I'm actually kind of relieved that I'm. It, I just can't keep up if I end up liking every book I read. It's just not humanly possible. And um, but yeah, so I ended up DNFing that. But then I decided yesterday to pick up the Daughter of Sherlock Holmes by Leonard Goldberg. It's a super short book, and it's been on my TBR for quite a while. I feel like, I, or maybe I saw it like right when it came out. But um, but it's actually super short, and I was able to finish it uh, late. Well, technically, it was this morning. Like super super early this morning and um and then last night i also managed to get 70 pages in on this beast of an arc Ugh! for the queens of innisleer by tessa gratton and i'm really ha it's so much more easy for me to read this and enjoy it now that i don't have a shrieking crying baby having a meltdown right in front of me and so i'm gonna try and get up to page 100 tonight i actually though just end up whoop uh, right before work, I started and I actually just finished rereading Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller for probably the fourth or fifth time in the last 12 months. It's just so good. Like, ah, uh, I judge you if you didn't like it. <laughs> no, I just don't think we'd be best friends if you didn't like it because I am have a very similar comedic tone that Alosa Al Al Alosa does have. But, um, yeah, so I finished that. Like I said, I'm going to try and read uh, at least 30 more pages or so of the, the Queens of Innisleer. And um, I got some, like, really good news from, like, my coworker. She's gotten me more arcs from the sound of it. Uh, I could just build a fort with the arcs now, I think, that I've gotten. And then, as you may be able to see, I also managed to dye my hair. I, I mean, I think I was brunette when I started this. Naturally, I'm a brunette. However... I think the brunette that I was for like three or four months since I've been starting the channel, that is the longest I've ever had a natural hair color. Um, I feel like since like grade eight or so, and I'm 25 now, I'm like a compulsive addicted color dyer. I like doing it from home. I like doing random weird colors. I've got like pink on top and I've got blue tealy on the bottom. Well, it's actually purple, so it's going to be interesting what, what colors it actually comes in as. Um... But yeah, it just felt like it was time. It was time that I, I get back into that world. Because I think I've done every color under the sun. And um, I gave my hair a couple months to like rest. And like I got kept getting it trimmed to clip off the dead end stuff now. But now, I'm going back to the wild colors, I think. Because life is short. Hair falls out, hair grows back. Whatever. Just have, have fun playing with my hair. But yeah, so I'm just gonna eat dinner and um, watch some TV. Maybe catch up on. Uh, I haven't watched like Philip DeFranco or anything all week, so just catch up on on all the news and everything. And maybe no, I'm gonna watch The Good Place. I started watching The Good Place with Kristen Bell. Oh my god! I mean, I love her anyways, but it's a really good show. Uh, and then I'm gonna try and read my couple chapters of The Queens and then pass out. And. Yeah, that's my super wild and crazy, I think, Wednesday. Hey, everyone. It's Thursday. Um, I just got back from work. In today, like the last, actually, no, even yesterday, too. Been, like, some pretty amazing. I made the mistake today of going through the Goodreads list that's, like, 20, 2019 
um, YA releases, and I only got through, like, the first hundred, and I have, like, a million books that I have to read next year now. So, there's that. Yesterday, though, we got a cover for, I think it's called A Sorrow, Fierce, and Falling by Jessica Cluess, the third book in the Kingdom on Fire series, which I have right here. So, I'm really excited for that book to come out, and it looks like they, like, kept the same general theme, which I'm really happy about. And then... I, like, 20 seconds ago, just saw the cover for Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyang. I'm not sure how to say it. It's N-G-A-N. And, like, that's what the cover looks like. I'm so excited. It's Asian mythology and lesbians trying to kill a demon king, which, like, sign me up, please. So that, and I was going to start Ready Player One um, just because I finished out of the Pirate King yesterday and I had the audiobook to follow along with that, but um, I was trying to get to page 100 of The Queens of Anisley last night and I fell asleep with my face in the book, not because it was boring, just because by the time I finished watching The Good Place, because I was just going to watch one episode, but <laughs> it's Kristen Bell, so I just marathoned whatever episodes were available, um, I was exhausted. So I am not going to allow myself to start another book until I at least get to page 200 or so at least like finished what the extra length was which was 194 the book's just like it's thick it's a beast but it's also like there's like not really any dialogue or not so far anyway so i'm only at page 80 and i think there's been like maybe 10 sentences actually said so it's just like large thick blocks of information and so yeah that is what i'm going to work on today and yeah. Oh, and my hair. It's not really done properly, but it came out like kind of turquoisey and pinky and purpley, kind of like a rainbow, which I actually didn't intend to do, but turned out actually nicer than I thought it was going to. But <sighs> oh, breathe. Pretty covers and books just get me so excited. Um, but yeah. Okay. Just to like prove my point, I just finished reading a chapter, uh, sorry, of The Queens of Innislear. And like, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm actually like, it's actually kind of annoying that the author is such a good writer, because if she wasn't, I would be taking a red pen to this book. But I just read a chapter that was seven pages long, and there was half a page of dialogue. That is the most dialogue that there has been in this 87 pages. It's going to be a long read. Hi, everyone. It's Thursday evening, and... um. I actually feel like I've actually gotten a lot done in the last couple of hours, but I, pretty proud of myself, I was shooting to hit 150, and I thought that was ambitious. I got to page 196. I'm, like, super proud of myself. Um, but, yeah, so I'm, like, I'm going to eat dinner finally now and everything, but got to page 196. I know on Goodreads it says that's, like, 30% of the way through or something, but the Goodreads page numbers is, like, 590 something. This book is 690 something, so I don't know how far I am actually into it, but like eh, maybe a quarter or so. I don't know, but I'll keep working on it. I think I'll be able to goal-wise, definitely finish it by this time next week, whether that's all this weekend or whatever. I'm not going to worry about it too much, but I'm really happy that I reached that, and yeah, so that's that's all I've done, and I'm just going to watch some of The Good Place, because I found somewhere I can watch it uh, season two online, because it's not on Netflix Canada, which I find immensely offensive, like, super crazy offensive. The series, the second season is out. It's been out for, like, a week. What? Why isn't it on there? Why isn't, isn't the whole point of an online streaming thing so that I can, like, watch it on demand? I'm not waiting... I'm not paying, like, $15 a month to wait four months after a season ends for it to finally show up. That's just not the reason why people have that service anymore. That's full-on this reason why people pirate things, like Exhibit A. But, I mean, rant, rant done. But, yeah, so that's, that's a Thursday. Hey, everyone, just a quick touch base on Friday before I edit and put the vlog up. Um, today's actually really good. I had to go to the library anyways for work, so I picked up my copy of Kinship by Daniel Heath Justice, and I'm a little bit scared now because the friend that I was supposed to buddy read it with, uh, got 100 pages in and DNF'd it, but hopefully it's something that'll mix with me. We don't always have the same taste, so hopefully. Um, but then I also, finally, my copy of Unearthed came in, um, 
I'm hesitant because I've read the one standalone Megan Spooner wrote, and I wasn't crazy about it, Hunted. So I'm curious what I think of this, and I haven't read their other series that they wrote together. Um, also, this book, like, came out, I don't know, like, a month-ish, month -ish, month-ish or so. And I mean, like, we have a system of, like, over 170 libraries to that have our catalog, like, that we can choose books from. And there was one copy of this in our system, which I'm super, really disappointed in. But hopefully I end up liking it, because then I can get my own copy, because the cover is super, super, super pretty. So I think I'm actually going to try and get to this one this weekend. This and or Kinship. I don't know. We'll see. But um, my pre-order goodies from Trisha Levenstall are also got in, so it comes with a bookmark. Oh, that's upside down. For Daughter of the Siren Queen, then you get like a card with the inserts of both books. So this is the sh the Night Fairy that's the inside and pages of um, Daughter of the Pirate King. And then the map that is, I assume, in Daughter of the Siren Queen. And then it came with a book plate. So I have that duology signed. Well, both of them with book plates now, which I'm really, really excited about. Because like I said, we don't get authors in Canada. So the only time I get signatures is the odd time they come to a conference, which generally doesn't happen. And when they do pre-order swag. So yeah. And the last really cool thing is I got to my desk this morning and my coworkers was there smiling at me and then gave me this. So I now have the arc of Dread Nation in physical copy. I am so freaking excited for this book oh my god yes i'm i'm just so so excited for this um i'm hoping to get to it this mm, i'll probably be next week like ne late next week or the week after but i'm excited about that because i just really need to get the arc for the queens of innisler done so i am wherever the book is in my place somewhere um that is what i'm going to focus on tonight and then i'm maybe going to watch a couple more episodes of the good place and then tomorrow i'm either Mm. I want to try and get at least 200 pages done between Saturday and Sunday, if not finish the whole thing. It really started to pick up once I hit page 100 and like almost 200 where I stopped yesterday. So hopefully it'll keep going at that pace because I was really able to keep like, I was really able to get through the last like 100 pages or so that I read really, really quickly. Um, and then maybe get to Unearthed and give it a try. I just have this unfortunate sinking feeling that I'm going to DNF it, which I'm sad because I love Amy Kaufman's other stuff that I've read. Like Illuminae is like, Oh my god, Illuminate Gemina. But, um, yeah. And then I got lots of filming to do tomorrow, but that is, that is talk for another vlog. So, hope you had a wonderful week. Okay, this is the official, I think, last tidbit. As I'm sitting here, about to start editing, I was looking at my TBR shelf and was like, girl, you got, like, you could, you could read one more book tonight. Like, well, I mean, read one more book. I've only read, like, uh, one book in one day, like, once this week, which... I know it's good for some people, but, like, it's pretty low for me. So I'm either, I think, I'm not going to um, do anything super crazy. I think I'm either going to pick up Peter Pan or The Hunger Games, because they're both, like, relatively short books that are on my TBR, and just power through the, uh, follow through the audiobook. Oh, wait, no, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, my God, I'm so indecisive. No, I will do Peter Pan or The Hunger Games tonight, depending on how I feel after I finish editing. And... Then tomorrow, I'll do the Harry Potter. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm doing. I'll either do Peter Pan or The Hungry Games Night. Watch me do, do Harry Potter number two. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, you'll see on my weekly wrap-up what I do, so...